Good morning, everyone. Thank you again for joining us. This is a presentation about round two of the Lost Out Bucks program. We are so excited to have the opportunity to do this again and partner with our business community along with residents. So thank you for being here. We're excited to go through the presentation with you all. Uh, we're gonna, in the next slide here, we're gonna identify what we'll be covering during today's presentation. So if you don't mind, Irving, the next slide, please. Thank you. So we're gonna start off uh, with introducing ourselves here. Uh, we have the team, uh, we'll take a minute to do that. Uh, we have Dave Wong, who's gonna be speaking on our partnership with staff. Uh, and then we're gonna go through what the Los Out Bucks program entails, what's new, what's different, what's the process for residents and businesses. So thank you again for joining us. And we're gonna get started here, Alicia. Hi, I'm Alicia Booth. Um, I'm Economic Development Supervisor for the City of Los Alamitos. Um, I do work that <laughs> um, and, and um, I'm a good connection. If you have any questions, I'm always available here. Um, so if you have, if you want to give me a call, um, I'm here. <laughs> okay. and my name is Michelle Mueller. I'm the Management Analyst for our Development Services Department. I'm um, fortunate to have the opportunity to work with the team here in putting on round two of the program. We're very excited. As Alicia said, we are here to serve you. So anytime you have any questions, concerns, need some clarification, please give us a call. Uh, again, thank you for being here. Good morning, everyone. My name is Irving Montenegro, Jr., Development Services Manager with the department as well, and our team here with the City of Los Alamitos. And as uh, Alicia and Michelle mentioned earlier, we're excited. Um, not sure if uh, the consensus here that's joining us today participated last year or if this is your first time, but nonetheless, we're excited to have you and hopefully what will be another successful year for your business, for your interests in the community. And so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off to Dave Wong, who is gonna be uh, representing the uh, City 611 Do Good and Save app that's going to be a new component to this year's program where his services and the partnership that we've established with his business will further enhance the program and also allow for opportunities and services beyond the program through economic development and just essentially helping out businesses throughout throughout the city. So I'll go ahead and kick it off to David. David, if you're uh, ready, um, I'll just do a brief little preview of what you're going to be discussing today. So as I mentioned, Dave Wong's here with us and he'll be explaining what the app does for your business. Um, if you haven't seen the app, it's called Do Good and Save. It's got that little heart uh, logo emblem on top there and it's through the services that City 611 provides. The benefits of the service um, and incentive, incentivized programs associated to it. He'll be talking about the connection as it relates to Los Al Bucks. And then, as I mentioned, uh, opportunities beyond the program. So I'll go ahead and let David uh, expand on. Oops, let me make sure I go back here. Okay, let's see if I could uh, pull this off here in terms of uh, any we have to offer today. Okay. Okay, there you go. Um, my name is Dave Wong. Uh, as uh, Irving mentioned, and my uh, title is Chief Storyteller. And first of all, I want to thank the city and the uh, Los Al's success team, uh, Irving, Michelle, and Alicia. They, they're the ones that are doing all the heavy lifting and really making all this happen. Uh, most importantly, for you of those that are joining, have, are joining this meeting, I want to thank each of you uh, in terms of your involvement because you are the heart of the community. You wear many, many hats uh, and many of you are probably parents. Uh, you're part of organizations, you support the school. Uh, it, in other words, you are no doubt the most important part of this equation in terms of uh, the economy, the local economy. So that said, uh, we've gone through some very, very tough times. Uh, and as a businessman, you all know what you've been through, 
been through the pandemic, labor shortage, material shortage, commodity prices, inflation. And now uh, there's a deliberate recession that's basically being engineered by the feds. And by definition, people are gonna lose their jobs. So uh, it's gonna be a challenge for every business person out there. So uh, fortunately, uh, we have tools now that could alleviate some of the pain, not all the pain, but uh, I could assure you that uh, we're gonna give you a best shot at not only stabilizing your business and hopefully with this teaming up of public and private partnership, we'll be able to help each of you as business people to uh, give it your best shot out there, uh, trying to overcome things that you can't control. Uh, I decided to have some fun. I was gonna do a regular PowerPoint, but I decided to have some fun and I've labeled this again, we're trying to uh, communicate with you as uh, engage as exciting as possible. So I've labeled this, I guess, paper, the next normal. We're all familiar with the new normal, uh, the term new normal, but I think that now that uh, with all the events that are taking place that affect this, uh, I decided to call it the next normal. And as far as the uh, headlines that I've created, and hopefully I'll answer all your questions today. Why Bucks 2 and the uh, DGS app, which is the good set, do good save app. Uh, 20,000 bucks looking for a home, uh, making new friends, showing love to your old friends, and what you get and what you don't get. So hopefully I'll answer all your questions when it comes to uh, why this partnership is not only vital, but hopefully it'll give you folks out there that's wearing the business hat, uh, a real uh, level playing field. Okay, so let me jump into it uh, on here. Go back. Okay, let's start here. Okay, why? Okay. The theme and the why of our app is connecting to you, connecting you to what matters and lost out. And there's a lot of moving parts out there. And the main ones are stakeholders in the city, which is, includes the city businesses, schools, clubs, orgs, and residents. You have partnerships, which again, in this case, you're talking about the city, Los Al Bucks too, and the Do Good Save app. And then within all those moving parts, you have different connections that are related to what happened in the community from, and what we call news, bucks moment for you, the master calendar purchase for a purpose. So, so as far as uh, the app, um, this is what it looks like. And the whole purpose of the app is bringing all of the lost L together via a daily feed, local content in one place, and a reason for uh, a user to come back every day. In other words, Trying to put together a life uh, style app. The whole idea here is that no one hangs out at a city site or a city app. Uh, so we're trying to make it engaging and exciting. So what you have here is feed that comes in uh, daily and updated regularly. Okay, uh, for business, uh, the benefit to you, especially via the Bucks program that we're connecting you with your neighborhood like never before. To show off your favorite products, to tell your story, uh, to reach new customers and to increase sales. Okay, when was the last time you celebrated having to pay for a business license? Uh, I don't see a whole lot of hands out there or people getting excited when with this slide. So that said, uh, now you can celebrate because your business license now your marketing tool. Okay, let's keep on going here. Uh, the whole idea of the app is we redesigned it. And if you look in the um, uh, picture, a screenshot of our site, we created what we call moments. And this enables uh, you to interact with your community like never before. In other words, we're bringing together community technology and storytelling all in one place. We're leveraging the best practices of social media so that you can get to know your customers, that your customers, that you 
get your customers tell your story, let you tell your story, and more importantly, you can personalize your relationship out there one to many. So in other words, think of this as a community, uh, a, a self community within a community in the palm of your hand. And now you're able to talk to those, having the tools to really uh, understand and connect to your customers. What you have here is when, when you really step back and think about it, with Los Al Bucks too, uh, what this means to you, this is a truly groundbreaking opportunity. Uh, and basically you have 20,000 bucks looking for a home. So pre-pandemic, business had to look for their customers. In the next normal, thanks to Los Al Bucks too, you now have new motivated customers looking for you. So let us basically uh, tell your special story. Each of you are in business and uh, you have your own story. What we've done is created tools for you to really communicate that not only on a daily basis, but as an ongoing basis. So for businesses, uh, our goal is to increase your cash flow, uh, get you more customers walking through the door. And if you're a resident, uh, then you have your money in hand to find and discover your neighborhood businesses. Okay, making new friends uh, within our app. Again, I'm gonna get into a little bit of details here uh, because I wanna communicate the fact that uh, one of the most powerful marketing uh, options is to create coupons, offers, uh, and the like to encourage your customers and connect with them. So what we've provided is the ability, uh, in other words, we change the uh, perspective of how, uh, as a business person, you should look at coupons, offers, and alerts. They should be really a reward for being a good customer and a reward for coming back and to your frequenting your business. So when giving away your product and offering coupons and deals and special is the right thing to do. It means in the end, if you look at the long term, it's more business from word of mouth, more loyal customers, and more repeat customers. And so uh, using technology, we can tailor specific offers to specific groups at specific times. And in fact, uh, when the launch, when the app is uh, launched officially on the 19th, uh, when you download the app, customers, these businesses are supporting the app and you'll get uh, any, you'll get things like free chili, Chick-fil-A sandwiches, free Thai iced tea, Belgian waffles and all waffle, free agua fresca, uh, the list goes on and we're having new folks sign in and offering a whole bunch of free stuff because again, it's all about supporting the community and working together. They give them back like never before. We also have the ability to feature to actually help you work with organizations whereby uh, we could help, if you're a restaurant, we could help fill those empty seats, find those motivated customers if you're a contractor via the orgs and groups that. Uh, again, everybody uh, in as supports their nonprofits also are consumers. So what we want to do is leverage all these moving parts in the community and bring the community together so that we all benefit. So in terms of fundraising, we organize the fundraisers where there's no training, no disruptions, and we could actually conduct them throughout multiple days and uh, basically multi-events with multi-businesses. So uh, that's an option that's available to you. So let's go into what you get and what you don't get. Uh, the way that we've worked the program is that all these services, uh, we have a, a special program for Lost L Bucks folks, which is gonna be free from September through January, uh, end of January. We also have packages which special pricing, if you really wanna put yourself up front for the holidays of your restaurant, you want to promote your catering, uh, gift cards, et cetera. 
we have a package that will enable you to do that. Our uh, overall program, again, our goal is to reduce the cost for mom and pop local businesses to really leverage all the best practices and technology. So we simplify the pricing where it's $99, no contract. And if you commit to a longer term, that drops down to an average of 83 to 67 dollars a month. And in today's inflation, uh, I guess that's the new half price to offer right now. Uh, this is our price sheet, but I won't get, I'll skip over that. Uh, the next step in uh, this process is that we're gonna ask that you uh, verify your info on your app. Uh, because again, fast track this thing, we pulled a lot of stuff from with uh, each of you business folks have on your website. We're gonna make sure that uh, it's validated and it's uh, certified by you, the business. And so in addition, uh, during the course of our uh, engagement and uh, the, the, uh, this business journey, we're going to gather more content. So we organize programs, curate your story, create campaigns, and tell your story. So that said, it's all about connecting you to what matters in Los Al. So that's hopefully I didn't overstay my welcome, Irving, because I've been known to uh, go on and on. So hopefully. Uh, any questions, please feel free to ask. No, thank, thank you, David. Um, so we'll go ahead and save the questions for the end of the presentation. Um, just wanted to mention, as, as many of you are uh, either joining us uh, for the first time or just hopped onto the Zoom meeting presentation, the uh, you know Do Good and Save app, while the services are, are great in, in how David provides the options and the different opportunities, we wanted to also make sure that it was um, clear that the Los Al Bucks program is independent to the app. So while there are benefits that nicely piggyback off of the uh, do good and service, uh, do good and serve um, app portion and all the uh, the different components that Dave mentioned, um, you do not have to be uh, downloading the app to be a part of the Los Al Bucks program. So I just wanted to you know make that clear in case there was perhaps some confusion or, or even just curiosity about that. So a lot of benefits. Thank you, David. So we'll go ahead and get back into our uh, presentation here. And then I'll let Michelle expand on Los Al Bucks. Thank you, Irving. Okay, so about the program. So as you all know, again, this is round two. As you may remember, our round one was uh, ran from November 10th through uh, the beginning of 2022. This time around, we have allotted a much wider time frame for the program. So we're looking at September, the week of September 19th, which would be next week through January 31st, 2023. Uh, again, this program is intended to promote shopping local, supporting our local Los Al businesses, and creating a community, community connectivity between our residents and our businesses. Uh, we're fortunate that funding for this program is again covered through federal funding, so specifically the American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA funding. Uh, and the funding or the amount of bucks that each household will receive is again $50 per household, so that's a total of five bucks valued at $10 each. And that will go to all Los Alamitos households. Uh, any business that is participating with it or any, your Los Al Bucks can be used at any of the participating businesses. We will identify those businesses at the beginning of next week. So Monday, we will release that list. We'll have it posted on our website. Um, in a different slide, we'll go into what you're going to be receiving next week, but in that envelope, you will also receive the business the, this, the list of businesses that are participating up to this date. Uh, we expect that more businesses will continue to sign up. Uh, again, I'll cover how we'll disseminate that information to you. But as we jump into the launch next week, that's that's how you will receive that information for now. Uh, again, your bucks will be mailed out next week, uh, anytime between uh, Monday. By Wednesday, we expect all households to have them, but. Again, they'll be get, reaching you next week.
So in this section here, I'm going to cover information that's uh, relevant for specific to residents, uh, similar to what the same concept we had last year. How do you use your bucks? Uh, your, your bucks have to be used according to the spending chart. Uh, Irving, if you can click one more. Yeah, thank you. So just as last year, the spending chart remained the same. If you're using $10 worth of your lost out bucks, the total amount of your purchase has to be a minimum of $15. So what that means is, let's say you go to Wendy's and your total amount for your bill is $12. You wanna use $10 of your lost out bucks. That would not be an eligible transaction because the total minimum for your purchase is $15. So what that means is, you have to, let's say you go to Wendy's, again, I'll use the same example. You wanna order three meals and your, or two meals and your total comes out to $17. At that time, you are able to use $10 of your lost out bucks. You only pay that difference. So it would be $7 and change, whatever that might be. Every value of your total amount that you wanna spend has a minimum. So again, $20 of lost out bucks, your total purchase amount for that transaction is $30 and it'll continue to tier until the 50, which would put you at a minimum $75 transaction. So your total amount for the bill has to be a minimum of $75. How will you know what businesses are participating? Along with the list that we will be distributing through mailers to your doors, we will have the information available on our city website, social media platforms. If you are uh, signed up to receive e-news from the city that will also reach you that way. In addition, businesses will have a decal on their windows. Their instruction is to place it at the entrance of their business. So when you walk in, you should see a sticker on their window that says participating business. It's going to look similar to the buck, except where it says $10 voucher, it'll say participating business. Uh, you can also always ask the business if you don't see a sticker or you didn't see them on our list for whatever reason. Uh, you can always ask the business if they signed up. If they are not signed up, you never know. That might actually encourage them to sign up. We did have that happen uh, last year where businesses were getting visits from residents wanting to use their bucks, and that encouraged the business to become a participant in order to allow residents to use their bucks. Next slide, please. So uh, this section here, it discusses our new element of our program. It's called Double Your Bucks. Uh, the goal of Double Your Bucks is basically to incentivize residents to spend their bucks and earn more, encourage residents to explore multiple businesses, uh, even those businesses they've never been to before, and create a buzz throughout the community to celebrate small businesses. So how would this work? So all businesses will be featured, and these are specifically the businesses that are participating within the program, will be featured for a week at a time. Three, uh, three, anywhere between three to five businesses will be featured within one week. And re residents will have the ability to visit any of these businesses fe featured within that allotted week, and they can double their points. So for instance, let's say, again, a resident goes to Wendy's, uh, tomorrow and Wendy's is the featured list or the featured business tomorrow and your transaction amount was $30. You now doubled your points by $30 for shopping at this business that's participating in the program on the week that they were featured. Uh, the goal of this is, uh, is to uh, again incentivize residents not just to support local but visit businesses that they've never been to before. Uh, there are caveats to this. Uh, residents can only double their bucks two times maximum throughout the entire term of the program. So what that means is, let's say again, you went to Wendy's, you doubled your points, you go to the city, redeem your doubled bucks, you decide to participate again at another business during the week that they're featured, that is your second opportunity to double your bucks where you've reached your max. Um, and again, that is for the entire term of the program. So from September 19th, all the way through January 31st, 2023. How residents will uh, pick up their doubled bucks, you will have to come to the city, show proof of, of uh, residence, so ID, 
pri primarily, or if that's not current, a uh, current utility bill. It, otherwise, you will not be able to uh, redeem your doubled bucks and, and the receipt of your transaction for that week. So it is important that you save your receipt uh, so that we can and give you your doubled bucks at the end of the day. Uh, the city will distribute, again, the featured list through e-news or electronic news, so emails, social media, the website, and we will get mailers out identifying what the uh, featured businesses are for a specified window. So it could be well, within two to three weeks, we'll let you know what businesses are featured. And as the program keeps going, we'll continue to provide that information. Um, and again, this provides an opportunity to discover Los Al. We really wanna encourage not just supporting small, but support those businesses that you've never been to uh, so that you could, uh, you know, not just support that business, but now share with your neighbor, your friend, your relative that, hey, have you ever gone to this business? You should check them out. So that's another very important element to, or purpose for this part of the, of what we've created to, uh, or how we've evolved uh, Los Al Bucks. Uh, we're here to help our business community uh, market you and help our neighbor, our residents know your business. And uh, ultimately the program will continue to evolve. So please stay tuned. There will be more dates. There will be more information, more announcements on this element of the program. How will you receive your bucks? So similar to last year, you will receive them in an envelope in your mailbox. Uh, different from last year, it's a very branded envelope. As you can see, we're, we made it as distinct as we could so that it's evident that it's not junk mail. Uh, we have the border that's gonna say city of Los Alamitos, it has a picture of the Los Al bucks. So hopefully it's very, um, clear to see and it's not confused for junk mail but within your envelope you'll receive your bucks the list of the businesses that have signed up up to that point uh the guidelines the program guidelines for reference and a uh, copy of the spending chart again if you have any questions we have all this information also available on our website but please don't hesitate to reach out to us um, if you need some clarification There'll also be a QR code for the Doing Good and Save app and our partnership with them, a little explanation. So the do's and the don'ts of the program. This part stayed consistent to what we had last year. So basically they're only eligible for use at a participating business. They have to be used within a specified time period. So September 19th, through January 31st of 2023. Uh, at the time of transaction, you must surrender the lost out bucks that are being redeemed to the merchant merchant. Um, and lost out bucks can be used in nonprofit stores, but not eligible, eligible for use as a donation. What you cannot do with a lost out buck, you cannot redeem it for cash. You cannot use uh, at cannabis related businesses, gas stations, home-based businesses or online food delivery services. They cannot be used to purchase lottery tickets, tobacco-related products, or alcohol. The only exemption or caveat with the alcohol is if you're going to dinner and you purchase a, you know, a drink or drinks, at that time, you, that is an eligible use of your bug because you're having a meal with your beverages. Um, and lastly, they're not, or they're not eligible for, um, I'm sorry, the Los Al Bucks feature a security system that, like last year, that makes it distinct so that the business knows if someone attempts to use a uh, fake Los Al Buck. And we'll go over what that will look like in a separate slide. Uh, next slide. All right. Um, like I said before, my name's Alicia. I'm in economic development for the city of Los Alamitos. Um, thanks for participating in this webinar. We're so excited to bring this program back. So I'm gonna go over the information for the businesses. Um, as a business, what do I need to do to become a participant? 
um, the business, if you're interested, you would just fill out a uh, one page participation form and just turn it in um, via email. I can come by your business to pick it up. Um, I have a little packet I can bring by. We can go over the whole program if you have questions. Um, what is the reimbursement process for part participating businesses? So basically we do a reimbursement bi-weekly. Um, you can submit them anytime. You just bring them into the city and, or people have mailed them, but just the safer um, place is just to bring them in if you have a chance or I can come pick them up. Um, there's a reimbursement form, so you would just fill that out. And then um, every other week, our finance department um, will send out the reimbursement check. So it's a really easy process. Um, and I can tell you the dates that we run um, the reimbursements to if you would like. Um, if you do not submit biweekly, how long do you have to submit for reimbursements? Businesses will have up to 45 days after the conclusion of the program to submit all the required documentation for reimbursement. The deadline this year is Tuesday, April 11th at 5 p.m. Um, it is very critical that you guys send in for the reimbursements prior to that date. We will not be accepting this year any, um, any Los Albucks for reimbursement after that date. Um, are there any requirements we, for becoming a participating business? You would have to have a city business license with no outstanding items. And at, we check that, we vet it um, here after you turn your reimbursement form. So if you're not aware, we will we'll let you know. And then you must not have any pending code enforcement cases. So like I said, we do a really um, good job at vetting the businesses. So we would tell you if there was something outstanding that you weren't quite aware of. And then this is a picture, like Michelle said, there will be a um, UV spot security feature that will allow you to realize um, if there's a fake buck. Um, the, the circled areas are glossy. So just like last year, if you accepted the low cell bugs, it's similar to that. It's just a different color this year for the background. So, and also just to add, we will not be accepting the old low cell bugs. Oh, yeah. So the ones that were green, like the, the lighter green, we will not be accepting those for this program. So if you have anybody who tries to use those, please don't receive them. Uh, they're not eligible for reimbursement. Yes, and there will be a serial number under where it says shop, shop Los Alamitos. There's a serial number, and then there's gonna be a series under the circle. You can't see it right now, but it says series 2022. So um, you'll be able to distinguish if it's fake or not. But anyways, that concludes the, the business side and the resident side. So if you guys have any questions, um, we'll be happy to answer. Real, real quick, uh, Michelle, Alicia, if I may. So uh, again, I want to thank everyone um, that is interested or is participating, whether for the second time or the first time. Uh, thank you, David, for uh, providing your information and, and the benefits that your app provides in line with Los Bucks and also um, as an independent option. But I really wanted to stress uh, for businesses, um, and I hope or I imagine that the majority of, um, of those attending today are businesses, is that we wanted to make this process as easy and seamless as possible for you as a business. There obviously is criteria that we must you know, enforce and follow to ensure that you know, the funding, the ARPA funding is used properly. Um, I know that there is additional steps with the reimbursement process and, and the forms associated with that keeping the receipts, but it is all very critical. And uh, amongst the feedback that we received last year was um, trying to keep it as simple as possible. So even with the addition of the double your bucks um, component this year, we kept that in mind. Um, you know, one of the difficult decisions was, well, how do we how do we ensure that people use it? Um, to the benefit of what it is for. As, as Michelle mentioned, we're kind of in this catch-22 of wanting to provide residents, customers, the experience and opportunity to incentivize spending the bucks that they receive in the mail and then doubling up. Um, and so in, in, other, in order for us to maximize the opportunity of the bucks and, and creating um, enough equity across the city so that businesses that don't 
may or may not have that same popularity or the customer appeal. We want to make it so that residents feel they can use the additional bucks, the bucks that would have not been there last year, right? If you use the 50, you're, you're, you're essentially using all of it. But if you double up, now there's an incentive to use it elsewhere. And so we wanted to keep that in mind this year. And so again, it might seem a little uh, inconvenient for residents to have to come to City Hall to uh, claim their additional bucks, but we wanted to take that, that burden away from the businesses of having to calculate the chart and, and, and you know essentially spending the enough of the bucks. So in other words, um, we, we do take this very, very um, you know, cautiously and, and with the business uh, you know, community in mind as well as a resident. So in other words, it's, it's not, it's not going to be a perfect program per se of like, there's going to be some questions, there's going to be some concerns that may come up, but we really want to encourage the feedback. We want to encourage the questions that come through um, Michelle and Alicia, who are really critical to the success of this program. You know, they, they obviously ran it last year for the first time as a pilot program, and it ran very well. You know, of course, there's going to be some some little areas that can be improved upon. And so we're hoping to take that to the next level this year. But really what we wanted to send you off before any questions come up is that we really want the feedback. We want you to feel like you can reach out to us and ask questions about the program if there's certain areas that you're, you're needing assistance with, even if it's the form itself. We realize that there's a variety of businesses out there that might have difficulty maybe with the you know technology component to this. Um, so again, we wanna make the box experiences as, as easy as seamless, uh, as accessible as possible. So again, thank you for your participation today. And if there's any questions um, on the um, Zoom app, you can you can essentially raise your hand or if you just wanna unmute yourself and ask away, we'll leave a few minutes so that you can ask some questions if, if you have any. And just uh, while we wait for that, uh, just to add to what Irving said regarding businesses, if you, you know, need some clarification, that's going to be the deciding factor on whether or not you become a participating business, please give us a call. We will schedule a visit at your location for your convenience. We want to go through, you know, every item with you to help you see how this, this will benefit your business. Um, and one of those items that we learned from last year was the challenge with you know, those businesses that were not tech savvy and that had issues with providing the appropriate receipts in order to receive a reimbursement. Uh, we will go through that in detail with each participating business. We'll provide an example of what a good receipt looks like and a bad receipt lo looks like early on. So there's a very clear understanding of what needs to be provided in order to get you your reimbursement. So we're here to help you. We will go through this process with you. And uh, so please, Give us a call. We will, we'll be, we're here. We're here to help you. Hi, Sandy. Hi, excuse me. Hi, my name is Sandy Dunning and my husband and I are longtime residents. We've lived here uh, 20 years. However, this is the first time we are participating. I just want to congratulate you on that outstanding presentation. I think it was really great. It was very clear. My only suggestion is the, if the presentation would have been given at a different time that might be more convenient for residents because many of them are probably working. And I saw just a short, a few uh, participants today and it's too bad because it was great and very clear and it makes us very excited about participating. And so I wanted to be sure that everyone um, has the, the adequate information so they can also participate. So. Good luck, and we look forward to getting double bucks. <laughs> Thank you. We are um, recording this, so we will be sending out the video for residents that weren't able to attend in businesses. So we Great. appreciate your feedback, and um, thank you for participating today. And Bob? <laughs> yeah, um, I was just wondering, how does this work? Do I make it something in the mail? Uh, for yes. Yes, so you will be receiving an envelope, a yellow envelope that uh, says the city of Los Alamitos on the borders in the center. I think I don't know if you can please go back to the slide if possible. But you will be receiving an envelope with your Los Al bucks next week. It'll be early next week. 
within that envelope, you'll also find a couple uh, documents that are related to the program. So the guidelines, where you can spend your bucks. So we'll identify what businesses are already participating in the program. But if, uh, if you can see this slide here, this mm -hmm. is what that envelope will look like. It's okay. a uh, eight and a half by 11 envelope. It's not a regular sized envelope. So it's relatively large. And it'll reach you next week. Yeah, the purpose was to make it as loud and as obnoxious as possible. <laughs> so, um, you know, a year ago, people would have felt like that's just propaganda. But one of the uh, comments that was received was that it got it got lost in the mail because it was a smaller packet. So kudos to Michelle and Alicia for coming up with this um, beautiful envelope here. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you know, obviously um, there will be situations where you know, unfortunately, the mail may not, you know, reach your home. Um, if you have that experience, just please reach out to us here at City Hall. Keeping in mind our hours, I know for some it might be a little inconvenient that we're Monday through Thursday between the hours of 7 and 7.30 to 5.30, but um, at the last, last slide, I'll, I'll provide the uh, contact information for our front counter. Um, you can always send us an email and uh, we'll surely make it work for you guys as well if there's any concerns about that. Any other questions? Comments? You guys did a good job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We're excited. Well, we have no more questions. Here's our contact information, uh, our website, email, and our phone number. Any questions, concerns, follow-ups, please give us a call. We are very excited. Thank you for joining us. We couldn't do it without our Los Al residents and business community. And uh, thank you so much. Have a great have day, a great guys. Day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.